has struck at the heart of our empire. A puny contingent of their soldiers has been captured here on Kilra. This incursion was an act of desperation. The hairless apes now flail about knowing that they are beaten. They have failed their race utterly. There will be no interrogation. Do what you will with them. Disintegration. Silence. My brethren, they are not warriors, but maggots. why they have been treated as a warrior, the one they call Angel. Still defiant, Dan Arcaro. If we were to offer coexistence with your kind, would you not accept it? The Kilurati do not coexist. No, and now that the tide has turned in this war, your defiance is a pathetic and useless gesture. You bore me, monsieur. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. <laughs> appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. in peace. Peace. Have we ever known anything like that, Paladin? Not for a long time, Letty. First the tiger's claw, now this. Enough. You are not to blame for either. Some would disagree. This is Colonel Christopher Blair. Report to Admiral Talwin. The wreckage of the Concordia has been located on Vespas off the Mistral Coast. Evaluation. Total loss. You can't live your life for the approval of one man. Anywhere from Angel. None. Is that the official line? I know how much she means to you, Lenny. Is there something wrong with your hearing, Colonel? No, sir. It's just that I... The TCS Victory is a fine carrier with a long history of service to the Confederation. Yes, sir. A very long history, sir. Ship assignments aren't open to debate, Colonel. Of course, I realize that the accommodations may not be what you're quite used to. Well, sir, I didn't mean to suggest that the Victory will benefit greatly from having a wing commander of your stature and experience. Thank you, sir. But can't we at least discuss the... Now that we have the Kilrathi on the run in both the Gardell and Morpheus systems, 
I can afford to shift you to the victory in Orsini. What I am trying to tell you, Colonel, is that things are looking up. The Confederation has been making some very positive strides. Dismissed. Sir, about my request. Yes. But it came as a bit of a surprise to me. As you know, Colonel Devereaux's status is on a need-to-know basis. Your shuttle is waiting. Yes, sir. losses in several densely populated sectors, Confederation spokespeople insist that humanity maintains the upper hand in its galactic struggle with the Karathi. However, our sources document a consistent underreporting of Karathi incursions, as well as civilian and industrial losses. There are even reports of confed plans for a doomsday evacuation of Earth, replanting the seeds of humanity in a distant galaxy. The question is, who would go? Who would be left behind? And most importantly, who is making these decisions? Welcome to the TCS Victory, Colonel. Thank you, Captain. Better known as Tin Can Sally. It warms my heart to see you again, Colonel. But I must excuse myself now, as your duty here takes precedence over our catching up on old times. Thank you, Hobbs. We'll talk later. Yes, I know what you're thinking. She's no Concordia. Oh. Neither is the Concordia anymore. Yeah, terrible loss. My sympathies. However, you're in my home now, and I'll expect you to wipe your feet every time you come in. I've been with the Victory most of my career. I was communications officer during a maiden voyage. Well, sir, I'll admit I wasn't looking forward to the assignment, but now that I see you have a pilot as fine as Roganar Hollis on your crew. Hollis? Yes, he's my second in command. He's not flying? At his request. I know all about his exploits with you, Colonel. But here, no one will fly with a Karathi on his wing. What about his exemplary record? That must stand for something. It was his request. <sighs> Captain Eisen, I'm not going to tell you how to run your ship. But I am going to insist that Hobbs is reinstated to the flight roster immediately. Well, that's admirable, Colonel, but uh, who... I will, sir. I'll fly with him. He's the best wingman I've ever had. 